Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, I am so happy to be back here with you today. We are jumping back into Time Survivors, an awesome, historically inaccurate bullet heaven. Nero leaves a trail of fire behind him as he moves, damaging enemies in his wake. When the ability is upgraded, if the fire trail closes a path, it erupts into flames, causing additional damage. Wow, look at that. That's cool. All right, Nero's boots of fire ability is always active. There's no cooldown, and you don't need to press any button to use it. I like that a lot. This is a uh, first time out here playing as Nero, and we have a very slippery Ice Age area, and I just thought, gosh, it makes a lot of sense to me to bring Nero and his flames of power into the Ice Age. I'm also working towards an achievement where if we can last for five minutes and 55 seconds out here, out with these cold ice squirrels apparently uh, we will be able to add to several of the opened characters weapon slots so hey let's try and have a great run out here showing off this awesome bullet heaven that I've been having a great time with so far and thanks to the developer for providing a copy and for allowing us to show it off early to all of you. Nice. Another point into Balls of Fire. What I want to look for with this guy is speed because Mr. Nero seems pretty slow if I'm being honest and, and I would be nothing but with you. So, like I say, we're going to have a nice run today, and we are going to get into some food talk because, gosh, of course we are, right? Yeah, it might make you hungry. It's, uh, we, we, we ate really well yesterday, and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you all about it. But before we get to that, let's, uh, let's mention this too, if you have seen some of the other videos on this game so far. Radioactive Skull. Deadly for them. A glowing headache. I have not used this yet. I just recently opened it up. Let's try it. And looks like we're going to get a couple of options here. Let's go spinach. Nice. Even faster leveling up. So, if you've been hanging out and enjoying the other Time Survivors videos, you already know that we're giving away 10 copies of this game. Yes, 10. So I'm excited to tell you that this video is also rated G for giveaway. Isn't that cool? I love giving away video games on the channel. January kicked off with lots of giveaways. And we're going to try to do at least 200 giveaways on the channel for 2024. Doubling what we put out there as a goal last year. We ended up giving away over 100 games. But this year, we're going to try and surpass that in a big way. So... Cheers to you out there. If you would like to try and get in on this giveaway and win a copy of Time Survivors, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment. That's it. Hey, there there we go. The winged boots. I'm so happy to see them. That'll help speed us up a little bit. Let's go all in to the iron balls. Right? Let's do it. Let's do it. So be subscribed, leave a comment, and I will pick some of you to win a copy of Time Survivors. I don't know that I want the boomerang. 
I'm kind of thinking that I want to see the shoes show up again, but I'll take the strength for now. That'll help, uh, that'll help control the horde. Take them down a little bit faster, right? Okay, let's also grab this and suck in some of that experience again. Uh, we'll go ahead and put another point into the radioactive skull. Perfect. There's another one. Apparently the skull's going to get a lot larger. I would be okay with the sling. That actually gets quite powerful as it levels up. So let's do that. I think we're just so slow when it comes to walking through the snow. Which brings me to my next point. Wow, the snow has happened in a big, big way. One of you mentioned the other day that you were out there playing Snow Shoveling Simulator 2024 Edition. And I responded back by saying, you know, I've been playing that game too. And usually I don't like beating games up publicly, but uh, boy, I'm going to have to rate that one a solid 3 out of 10. It's, uh, it's, it's not my favorite game to play. But I do like that it gets me out there and gives me a chance to use the snowblower. Uh, a few years back, I decided I would get a decently equipped snowblower. It has an auger on it. And this thing can produce an arc like you have never seen before. It's quite special. So much so that I have to be careful when it comes to things like neighbor's windows. If you know, you know. It's, uh, look, the windows can get in the way of what I'm trying to accomplish out there. And uh, it just is what it is. Now, I haven't broken any yet. But the other day, the arc was so high, and, you know, I'm hearing it slam, and as I realized what was happening and what was causing that noise, I thought to myself, boy, you know, if I can hear that out here, and I can in a big way, I can only imagine what that sounds like inside that home. So... I did the nice thing, and I went much, much further down on the sidewalk, and I, I helped him out. You know, it's, uh, all, all is forgiven when you do that, right? Okay, let's see here. Size plus 30%, duration plus two seconds. Let's go size. I do want to try closing this circle. I don't know that we've seen that happen yet. Okay, hit delay, enemy piercing. Yeah, let's do that. Go all in on that thing. Now, if we can accomplish the time crystal while we're here, we might as well do that as well. Those definitely come in handy for some of the meta progression upgrades. Let's grab that. Perfect. So the snow is happening, and now, of course, the... Cold is happening in a very big way. A buddy of mine that doesn't live too far away, he converted his garage into a gym. And, you know, so because of that, his vehicle is outside. And it's the type of thing where, you know, you've got to go out there and start your car every once in a while. Just to make sure it's going to fire up for you tomorrow when you got to go into the office. All right, let's go ahead. Ooh, we opened up that fifth slot option. Made it to the 555 mark. Outstanding. So now we can get even stronger. Oh, there's one of those big nasty crabs again. So if you recall, I was mentioning the other day that I had said to my brother-in-law, hey, why don't you come out for the wild card games? And then we ran into the whole snowpocalypse nightmare. 
And, you know, it ended up being a lot, but it got cleaned up relatively fast. And so uh, we just said, hey, let's go for it. And so I thought, hey, you know, gosh, everything's working out swimmingly. So why don't we just really lean in hard to the snack and food situation? And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what we did. Have you ever had Lou Malnati's pizza? It's, it's kind of a regional thing in the Midwest section of the U.S. But I will say, you can order it frozen they'll ship it out and this is a special experience it is a deep dish pizza and that's what they're known for now some people would look at this pie and they'd say boy you know go that doesn't look like a pie at all that actually looks like a plate of lasagna what are you talking about that's not pizza at all that's that's actually scientifically going to be called lasagna and I understand that feeling. It is, uh, it's a sloppy piece. Uh, I do like to eat mine with fork and knife. And, uh, boy, this is a nasty looking figure that has just joined us on screen here. Uh, I think we're going to get a little bit faster to maybe avoid contact with said nasty looking figure's tentacles. Oh my goodness, there's two of them now. Oh, that's wonderful. And polar bears, why don't we just... Oh, goodness. All right. This is uh, this has become a full-on attack, and I am a little bit stuck for the moment. Oh, gosh, these guys are... Wow. I don't know that this is going to go well. Okay, all right, all right. That's all right. That's all right, because actually, and I never mentioned this, shame on me, that was all part of the plan. All I wanted to do was open up the fifth slot. And now, who do we want to give a, a chance here to? I mean, I want somebody that's going to be fast. And I just don't know that Nero is going to be our guy. The move speed base is 70. Claire is 120. And I'm a fan of Claire, and we've opened up a lot of Claire's capabilities at this point. I think we're going to open up this weapon slot for Claire, and we're going to come in, and we're going to give Claire another chance. Now, Claire can also evolve the boomerang, which is great. Let's add some duration to the doppelganger special. And let's get in there with Claire. What do you think? We got five weapon slots now. Maybe we can make it a little bit further in the Ice Age. I'm not guaranteeing a W. I mean, would it be nice? Of course. Of course it would be nice. Now well, let's just see what we can do. Against the old squirrels and nasty things that are going to show up. And we'll get a little bit further. We'll see. Cheers to you, by the way. I'm out here with a nice espresso roast. I hope you've got something nice in your cup. Something nice and warm. Maybe a coffee or a tea. Maybe a hot chocolate. I almost made hot chocolate the other day. That's a, that's a rare occasion for me. But I, I don't know. I, I had a taste for it. And then... And then I thought, oh boy, that's that's going to be a little bit of work. And I'm, I'm not not really looking for that right now like that kind of commitment you know put some oat milk on the stove put one of those uh chocolate hot chocolate bombs have you seen these things my my wife and kids have some of those they were gonna put one on loan to me and i, I was all into it and then i thought oh boy i'm gonna have to turn the stove on and yeah, get a pot out and you know it was a little bit more of a commitment than I was looking for at the time. Uh, let's lean into the slingshot again. I think that worked out okay. So where were we? We, we were talking about Lou Malnati's 
a uh, very, very special pie. And you know, we are gonna go radioactive skull again. And let's go ahead with the telescope. We'll just start making that skull that much bigger right off the bat, right? Okay. So I ended up heading out to one of the local loos and I picked up a pepperoni and a sausage and a cheese. That's all my kids will eat is, is cheese pizza. I, I think that's just a kid thing, you know? Uh, let's go with the... I was between the telescope and the flail. You know what? I, I want to do a reroll. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, nice. Iron balls work extremely well with the slingshot and the boomerang. So I, I really like where this is going right now. You know, my brother-in-law and I were originally going to run out to the store and go and, you know, grab some things to eat. We kind of had, you know, just an open plan. Didn't really know what we wanted to do. And then that's when I just made a, a business decision to say, hey, you know what, let's, let's do some lose. Let's just get ridiculous with it. And then I sent him a text with the picture of the lose, and, you know, of course, a lot of excitement when you see it a bag of lose pizzas and I said you know what you know what would be really really stupid is if we ran out and we got some skirt stick now you've heard me talk about skirt stick before and we didn't need any skirt stick I, I bought three gigantic lose pizzas but I thought you know what this is a special occasion and everything kind of worked out where they were able to come, and I, I want this to be great. And so I said to myself, you know what? We should go out and get some skirt stick, right? So I uh, hit the store and uh, got, you know, just a just a small smackerel of some skirt stick, you know, because of course, deep dish pizza was already the star of the show. Ooh, size plus forty percent. Wow. Okay. Skull's already getting super good. Uh, let's go with some additional cool down as well. Perfect. So while I was at the store grabbing the skirt steak, you know, a funny thing happened. I had to walk past the bakery section, and it occurred to me that it had been a criminally long period of time since the last time I had had French silk pie. I gotta tell you something. French silk pie is one of my favorite things. You've got just a decadent, sizable layer of chocolate mousse. You've got a cream on top, a whipped cream, and a really nice pie, right? It all just comes together. It's 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 a symphony. It really is. And so I said, you know what? I think we need one of those too. And then another thing happened. I went down another aisle and I found tots, and I thought, boy, tots, you know what? I think we should go with this. Tesla coil, shouldn't we? Hmm. I don't love the shrinker because it says you have to stand still in order for it to work, and I, I don't stand still a whole lot in this game, so I'm gonna go Tesla coil this time. I think that'll work out. We're gonna evolve the boomerang. We've got the Tesla coil, and thanks to that fifth slot, we're gonna be able to get another weapon. And I think it's going to be the flail. All right, this is going to be an even better run than last time. I'm just going to get out there and, and, and say those words right now. We're going to we're going to put those words out in the universe. Everything's going to work out. 
I, I can I can feel it. We've got magnesis being developed even even more. Yeah, it's it's gonna work out. We're gonna go weapon cool down again. Okay. So I got a bag of tots to go with it. And so my brother-in-law and his family showed up and he says to me, hey, you know, so what would you actually end up doing with, with Luz? And I said, uh, oh, you know, I got, um, I got three of them. And he goes, you got three? And I said, yeah. And he goes, oh my God, that's, that's just, that's dirty. And I love it. And I said, yeah, you know, that was the goal. I, I wanted to, I wanted to get dirty, you know, food wise. Right. And so he said, well, here's the thing. I know how you like hot dogs. And so I, I brought this new snack that I found. I said, okay, what are, what are we, what are we talking about? What do we got going here? Folks, I gotta tell you, this was really a special experience that is going to be repeated. I don't know if you have a Trader Joe's by you. I, I don't know if Trader Joe's is just a thing in the States. Uh, Trader Joe's is a wholly owned subsidiary. Subsidiary? I'm having trouble today. Subsidiary? Yeah, that, that sounds better. Of Aldi, if you've heard of Aldi, right? But Trader Joe's has a lot of unique items. You know, I'm sure you've had the experience where you wrap hot dogs in dough and then you throw them in the oven for a little bit and then they come out even more delicious than what you ever fathomed a, a hot dog. Because a hot dog is just delicious in and of itself. Uh, uh, we, we've talked, my brother and I have talked about this. We, we really appreciate hot dogs. I think hot dogs are a very underappreciated food item. They're just going to put that out there in the universe. I, I just think they are. And so not only were these dough-wrapped hot dogs, but inside the dough was little chunks of pickle. Just think about that for a moment. You have the beauty of the hot dog itself. And that is now being cut by that wonderful vinegary tang of the pickle. You've heard of the frickle? The deep fried frickle? Right? These hot dogs were coated in frickles. These were frickle dogs. This was a beautiful thing. And we ate those. And then on top of that, they brought a giant bag of pot stickers. And we made a lot of those. And it's going to hurt me to say this, but I'm, I'm, I'm willing to be honest and admit this to you. We did not end up cooking the skirt stick. Can you believe that? You know, just at that point where we had a lot of food. These guys are, like, suctioning me in. But if we can get off this snow... Okay, now we can we can walk. Oh, yes. Yes. And we're going to bring it right to them. Now, you better run away. We're not messing around out here. I'll take a time, Crystal. For my trouble. 
All right, let's go ahead and launch that as well. Maybe we'll get some level ups here. Let's go flail. I was hoping for more level ups. Oh boy. Yeah, we're getting suctioned in again. Boy, be careful of these guys, let me tell you. Uh, we're gonna go boomerang again. I'll go ahead and put the decoy out there. That might help, actually. Oh, that is helping quite a bit. At the same time, I want to do damage to these guys. All right, let's get some distance because we know the suction is getting fired off in a big way right now. Wow. Okay, this guy's almost down. So I don't want to get too far away. Let's go ahead and pop that out there again. Hey, one down. Nice. Uh, let's go with some additional strength. That'll certainly help with that. And, boy, this guy's got full health over here. How did that happen? Uh, let's go... Man, oh man. This could be nice, too. I'll go Tesla Coil. We'll just go... Things that could do damage right now and help us out with this particular battle. Uh, I don't want to go back on the snow, uh, but we're going to have to. Okay, let's go with that. You know, I think we're a lot stronger and better off this time. Let's go. Ooh, man, both of these would be interesting. We're going to do duration, actually. I'm going to pop that out there again. Alright, and let's get another use of the flail here. Wonderful. Yes, there it is. Okay, what do we got? One more of these guys? Uh, let's go with the boomerang, because again, we want to max that out. So that we can evolve it. It's totally worth doing. We'll go ammo on the sling. Alright, this guy's gotta be getting low on health, right? Maybe? Halfway? Uh, about a quarter. I'll take that. And we'll go boomerang again. Okay. We had a feast, and, you know, I was really pulling for the Dolphins. I mean, I just wanted to see really great football, and we got that as well out of those two games. Uh-oh, this, uh, this is not looking great. Well, okay. All right, that's okay. That's okay. It was a good run. I don't think the ability being fired off would have even helped in that specific situation. I just don't think we had the overall firepower that we needed. You know, maybe an evolved boomerang would have helped there a little bit more. Just couldn't get to it fast enough. But that's okay because we brought back more gold. We brought back more iron or stone uh, to add into these weapons and make them even better. You know, because we can upgrade them individually like this boom and we're going to keep playing this and showing the game off uh, this game is out today and we're also giving away some copies of the game uh, about 10 so thank you to you for the support appreciate you hanging out here hope you had a good time i know it was a very food packed talk and we'll do this again sometime, right? We'll uh, get together, we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite, because that's what we do every time. And uh, you know what? We'll just keep giving away video games to this fantastic community. All kinds of gifts from us to us. How about that? All right, folks, you take care out there. We'll see you again soon.